What's up guys? Chris from Croft CNC here uh, coming at you with another tutorial. Today we're going to show you how we take a drawing that we did and we're going to create a laser etch program for this porcelain tile. We actually painted this brown with a Rust-Oleum enamel paint and that gave us the brown surface over top of a white porcelain. So, first things first, we have to do our line drawing. This is a drawing, I just did it by hand. We will now take this, scan it into the scanner. Now we have the paper drawing scanned into the computer and we can now make that into a piece of digital art by taking the roster file and using a paint program. I like to use paint.net you can use MS Paint, you can use any art, art design software that you find appropriate. So, here's the line drawing that we have. I'm going to open with paint.net and now I'm going to go in and I'm going to fill in all the area as a solid black. With our paint.net all done, we now have a solid black outline. We can now take this outline and open it in a vector conversion software. Uh, since we're going to be using the laser, I think that it would be appropriate to use the VCarve software. Okay, we're going to go to our software packages. I'm going to open VCarve Desktop. For this, we know that we want to use a 6x6 tile that we already have painted with Rust-Oleum enamel. So now we need to get our measurements to input into VCarve. So we take our porcelain tile and we measure. It is 6 and 1 16th wide by 6 and 1 16th tall. The width measures a quarter inch we can now create a new file in vCarve and we type in 6 tab 6 tab 0.25 that's our width, our height, and our thickness measurement we are in inches the job type is a single sided engraving we're using the material surface our datum point is 0, 0 in the lower left corner. Our modeling is high resolution and we click OK. We now have an area here where we have a 6 by 6 square that we can put our design in. We now know that we want to import a roster file into VCarve by utilizing the folder with the import bitmap label we find our file, which is our black colored monogram design. We double click on it and it imports our picture. We now have to take this picture and turn it into a computer file known as a vector. To turn this into a vector, we simply have to go over to the left hand side uh, about middle way through the uh, create vectors menu is the picture of an outline of a bird. We click it. Number of colors 
Uh, it's a black and white. Uh, the threshold we don't need to mess with because we've already set everything to black and white specific. We don't need to miss, mess with any of this. We don't have to group the vectors. We'll preview it. Everything looks good on the conversion. We'll click apply. We click close. We now have a vector. We click on the bitmap and delete. We now have our own vector file that we can start creating a toolpath for. The toolpath simply tells the laser where to go and when to fire. To accomplish this in VCarve, we click the arrow in the upper right hand corner of the left side of the screen. And for us, we're going to use a quick engrave toolpath, which is found right here. We select that. We're going to select our tool. So once our tool selection library comes up, we'll select laser engrave 100%, click on that, click OK. Now we go to calculate. That will calculate our toolpath for us. We go to close. Now we can go to render and see where VCarve is actually going to laser etch and everything that is laser etched should be a white porcelain finish and everything that is this brown wood looking area will actually be a brown paint. So everything looks good at this point. We'll go to save toolpath. We'll select JTEC, Gerbil, no Z, inch as our post processor save toolpath and for this one um, I already have a uh, folder created so we will go to quick engrave mono G code I'm going to resave this okay close and at this point we can close vcarve and go to our jump drive. So I use a jump drive to transfer my files from my design computer over to my uh, CNC computer. Put that in the CNC computer pops up and then we simply take our G code from here move it into here we're out at the CNC machine now uh, I've already got my tile set up and I've already got my laser on and I've already honed the machine uh, and everything so the material is zeroed the laser is zeroed um, and we have pick and grade, or pick sender up. Um, if you need to know how to do that stuff, um, I've done a lot of live videos and I've done some other videos to help you with that. If you might need something else, drop down in the comments below and let me know. Uh, I'll try and do the best that I can. Um, you guys are basically going to get a a uh, quick rendition of how I go about doing this. So as you guys can see my pick sender is up. It's on my cut computer and basically all we have to do at this point is load the quick engrave file uh, and send. So we'll load it. Go to load. I have it on my desktop. It's labeled quick engrave 
everything zeroed just to make sure. I set a G28 and we hit send. That's coming out really nice. Could drop my step over down a little. And there you have it. That's how we set that up. So the next, the next setup will be photo of the finished project.